Hey Tracy's Place fam, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be making easy Alfredo sauce. You all will not believe how easy this is. Instead of going out to Olive Garden, you can stay home and make this in less than 10 minutes. The whole meal can be made in 20 to 25 minutes. If you're making chicken Alfredo, chicken fettuccine, 20 to 25 minutes at home, you guys. But anyway, today let's concentrate on the sauce. It is so, so good. And you're gonna need Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan cheese, three cloves of garlic, you're gonna need a stick of butter. You're gonna need two tablespoons of cream cheese and you do not have to use this. This is just an extra. So if you don't have cream cheese, it's okay. But this adds just a little bit of extra creaminess. And we're gonna use two cups of heavy whipping cream. If you're on a diet or you're just trying to watch your calories, you can use half and half. So two cups of heavy whipping cream or two cups of half and half. You're gonna use sea salt just a little bit, about a pinch or so, and about a pinch of black pepper. You're gonna use some Italian seasoning if you have it, if not, it's okay. And you're gonna use parsley flakes if you have it. It just adds a little bit of Italian oomph to it, but yes, you can make it with just the heavy whipping cream, Parmesan, garlic, butter, a little bit of salt and pepper. These three items here are extra. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's get started. Over here on the stove top, we're going to add one stick of butter. And we're going to let that go. I'm going to turn this down because I don't want the butter to burn or anything like that. So I'm going to turn it down some to low heat. Next, we're going to add in our three cloves of garlic. You guys, I have big cloves of garlic that probably equaled four regular cloves of garlic. So. If you want to put four in, you can do that. Some people don't like as much garlic. You can put two in if you want. I would say between two and four, depending on how big your cloves are and depending on how much garlic you like. So I had three big cloves of garlic. Also, this is the garlic press that I have. I will, excuse my hands, I got garlic on them. <laughs> but I will link this below. I got this from Amazon. I love this, you all, love this. So I'll link it down below also with the recipe. So you want to stir this around, you guys. Stir it around and get it all buttery. At the end of this video, you guys, I'm going to just show you how to throw it all together, the whole dish. So I'm making chicken and shrimp with broccoli. Alfredo, y'all. Oh my goodness, all three. Some people just have broccoli Alfredo. Some people just have chicken Alfredo. Some people have shrimp Alfredo. But we're having all three tonight. So I'm going to show you how to put it all together. Really simple. The sauce is really the hardest thing, which is not hard at all. And then next, we're going to add in the two cups of heavy whipping cream or your two cups of half and half. And you just want to whisk that in. Get it all incorporated. And not on high heat, you guys. Not on high heat. Next, you guys, we're gonna put in one fourth of salt. And it wasn't coming out fast. So one fourth teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add in one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. That's gonna be my pinch. <laughs> gonna set a pinch of each. And also, next, not everybody uses this, but I am going to use Italian seasoning. You don't have to add this, but I am. I'm using one fourth teaspoon as well. And again, it's not coming out fast because these are kind of decent sized flakes. All right, so about one fourth. And then I'm gonna add in my parsley flakes. Just a little bit. That's a little bit over one fourth, which is perfect. We're gonna go ahead and get that whisked together. Make that sauce all pretty. So now that it's good and warm, you probably can see a little steam coming up off of it. We want it good and warm so that when we put the Parmesan in, it's gonna melt. But first, 
we are going to put in the two tablespoons of cream cheese. Also, this you do not have to add, but this makes it even the more creamier. So I'm adding two tablespoons of cream cheese. There's one. And there's two. We're going to get that stirred in and melted. Let that go for about, well, I would say, two minutes on low while this is melting. Okay, and once you get that incorporated in, we're going to go ahead and add in our one cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm going to whisk that in. You could probably hear some other stuff going on the stove now. I put the shrimp on and also the fettuccine noodles. So I'm going to get that all incorporated. Y'all should smell this house. Oh my goodness. I know they can smell this upstairs in their bedroom too. This is smelling so good. So we're going to let that go. And when it comes to a boil, that's when you're going to turn it down and simmer it. And after about a minute or so, then it is ready. And you do not want to scorch this. You don't want to have this too high. So it's on like a medium high heat. But you want to keep stirring it. And when it, you stir it for about 20 seconds just to get it all incorporated. Then take your whisk out of it. Let it come to a, like a boiling simmer. And when you do that, lower it about a minute or so. And it is finished. The shrimp is going back here behind the sauce. And then over here, the noodles are going, the fettuccine noodles. You guys, I am using chicken chunks for the meal also. Grilled chicken chunks. We are good to go. It is starting to bubble now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it down too low and just let it simmer for a minute or two and it's getting nice and thickened and very creamy you don't want it overly stiff or anything just loose it just like this it has simmered you guys and it is done and you know that because you see the thickness on the spoon oh my goodness delicious so that, you guys, is how you make the Alfredo sauce. And I'm going to show you how to throw together the whole meal in a second. All right, guys. So these are the fettuccine noodles. They're still hot and steaming. All you do is boil however many you want in a big pot of water. This is a huge pot. And you just put butter, salt, and a little bit of vegetable oil in it so that they don't get stuck together. And just boil them until they're just tender. Don't overboil them. Then you drain them. Over here, you all, I just cut up shrimp. And I don't keep my shrimp whole. I cut them into three so you can get a shrimp in every bite. And then I have the grilled chicken here cut up. And this will go all through the dish. So all you do is saute the shrimp in butter and a little bit of olive oil. Uh, the chicken is already ready. You get the grilled shrimp that's already, I'm sorry, the grilled chicken that's already ready unless you want to make the chicken yourself. And then after the shrimp is almost ready, go ahead and throw in the chicken. I seasoned it all with Italian seasoning, the Himalayan sea salt, the garlic and pepper seasoning, and a little bit of parsley. And I think that was about it. I think that was about it. And then here you can use whole pieces of florets, the broccoli florets. These are just the chopped ones I bought in the bag. These are big enough for this dish. Like I said, you can put any size broccoli in that you want. And then of course, the sauce is ready. And here it is, amazing you guys. I put on the fettuccine noodles first. I put that on the plate first. And then I put the sauce on. And then the shrimp and the chicken, then the broccoli, then drizzled a little more sauce on. And we have grape cranberry juice to drink. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like if you just mix it all together in one pot. And here it is all in one pot with the noodles. I put in the sauce, shrimp, chicken, and the broccoli. So I'm just going to get it stirred up and I'll show you what it looks like combined. And that's what it looks like all combined. 
all creamy and saucy and all together gooeyness and good. Y'all enjoy it. Hope y'all make it. If you make it, let me know how it turns out for you. And y'all have a blessed day. Bye.